Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today and this is a general reading that could help any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords, we have Temperance, the Major Arcana, and we have the Two of Wands. So in looking at this Eight of Swords, we see the woman, uh, she has a red dress on or robe, looks like green shoes. She has uh, bounds, lightly bound. She has a blindfold and she's kind of just stuck here behind this row of swords and with these little puddles. This is a card that suggests that someone feels restricted, feels trapped, fenced in, um, stuck in place and unable to move. And sometimes this can suggest and indicate that there's a little concern or stress or panic about a situation and that issue is making you feel this uh, sense of being trapped in a tough situation not too pleasant and that can be overwhelming and uh, often people may say that with the eight of swords it's a sense of of not wanting to see the truth, not wanting to deal with something at this time, that if you are just blindfolded and, and not moving forward, not, new, not moving backwards, that uh, you, know, you just don't have to deal with the problem. And you can let it go on for another day. Ultimately, you have to, you have to face these things that are keeping you feeling this entrapment um, but it is up to you to take a step forward and to try to face things and ultimately when you try to face things you can start to get yourself out of the rut out of that feeling and you know away from uh, the puddles and taking off the binds and taking off the blindfold and seeing clearly so you know for whatever it is on Tuesday there's a sense of of a situation that you may not want to deal with and that you feel uh, just restricted and it's, it's an unpleasant feeling to feel maybe controlled or restricted that something is coming down on you so uh, you know again incremental steps try to move forward try to take a step forward uh, maybe think about a situation so that you can get to uh, you know get to an understanding within yourself so that you can move forward because she's not moving forward, backwards, sideways, anyways. And, and, you know, these swords are, she could be tied to the swords, but she's not. She's tied, she's only wrapped around herself. She could, she could, pos she could move if she cho chooses to, I think. So then we have temperance, and temperance is all about tempering. It's about moderation. It's about finding the balance, finding harmony the water flowing from cup to cup without spilling, dipping a toe on earth, dipping a toe in the cool, pure water, the rainbow up above in this illustration, and the angel wings. Uh, what's always interesting to me in this card is the sun coming down um, be beneath, behind the mountains and the golden path here. And so find, find the middle path, perhaps find the balance for you. And it's to um, not, allow the ex not allowing the extremes to win. 
and it's finding a way to blend all of the elements of life of you know getting them all to work together there's a lot of peace and tranquility with temperance and um, of of feeling good and having hope and um, you know of of uh, of limiting the external influences and often this is a card about the balance between spirituality and your physical self and so with temperance it's really a message of just um, don't be too extreme watch your diet get enough sleep uh, think about how busy you are within your life Think about your spending habits and such. So, you know, find the middle road in many ways, and that temperance will pay off for you later on. And then what's interesting is we have this two of wands. And we see this fine, ge finely dressed gentleman standing here, one hand on his wand. He's got another hand holding the globe. And he's looking out, it looks like he has a really nice patio. He's looking out over the water, over the mountains. And this is a card of, um, it could be someone who's very successful, who has choices. But in looking at the horizon and holding on to the globe, it's a sense of maybe questioning, what's next for me in my life? Where do I want to go? Do I need uh, another adventure? Do I need another route to bring that adventure into my life? You know, am I, is there a wonder lost here of wanting to get and go? Or, you know, are you going to choose to, sit, to, choose to stay? Are you going to make that choice to um, pass on expansion at this time and, and travel or adventure? Are you going to stay where you are because you, you think that that's the right thing to do? And often with twos, you know, it, it deals with having choices to be made. Choices that might be um, pulling you in two different directions. And again, if we look at temperance, temperance can will lead you into the probably the right place if you make sound, reasonable, and harmonious decisions. And perhaps the, the choices that you have have caused this little sense of um, feeling restricted. That here you're looking out at what's out there and maybe you're feeling that for many reasons you, you, you're tied down, you can't make that move, or you're afraid of taking a risk, or you're um, fearful, fearful of doing that. So uh, there's a lot going on here within this um, reading today, and you know this this can be taking action and moving forward, new adventures. This is about finding peace and balance and harmony, and mixing all of the elements together in just the right sense and here is a, certainly a sense of feeling trapped and stuck and unable to move so hmm interesting let's look at the numbers we have 8 we have 14 that's 22 and then 2 more is 24 and that reduces to 2 plus 4 equals Six and six is about social consciousness, uh, compassion, stability, and peace. And so we have some peace here, harmony here. So I hope that you found something helpful today here with this reading. And if you did, please like, share, or comment. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a wonderful way to show support and um, to stay connected to our great community. 
and I hope that you will come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.